Ken McElreath, the sensational rookie of 1962, is the first driver to make the 10-mile qualifying run. plus miles per hour is fast, but wind, the enemy of all race drivers, buffets the straightaways in dangerous gusts. Arnelli Jones takes his turn. Fastest man on the track in practice. He craves the wind and turns 151.153 miles per hour. It's a new qualifying record and evidence that the traditional Indianapolis race car will be hard to beat. Jim Clark of Scotland is on the track in a Lotus, a car with engine in the rear fashioned after European road racing cars. One of the most radical designs to be introduced at the Speedway, it qualifies easily at a speed of 149.75 miles per hour. Lynn Sutton, second place in last year's 500, fails to reach the hot pace. His anxious crew yellow flags the qualification attempt, hoping for better conditions. Don Branson, one of racing's greatest qualifiers, produces second best time of the day with 150.188 miles per hour. Following him onto the track is Jim Herdebees in the famous Novi Supercharged V8. Proof of the most powerful cars at the Speedway, the Novi's have thrilled the fans for many years, but bad luck has plagued them. Now, Jim Herdebees breaks the spell with a qualification speed of 150.257 miles per hour. Veteran mechanic Gene Marcinac is nearly overcome with elation, and Jim Herdebees is ready for the race. <laughs> 